Welcome back to the Adventurer's Way channel. I'm Diana and Matt is driving. We are headed to the airport. Stay tuned to find out why. <laughs> so at the Denver International Airport, we picked up my brother, Yanis. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna go on a road trip around Colorado to see Colorado's national parks. Are you excited? Worry. I'm like, I was waiting for this for a couple of months, so like, I'm really excited. No shoe policy? Hey. Uh, you can have shoes on. That's fine. Cool. I'm sleeping on the table? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing guys, I'm impressed. So with my brother Yanis, we'll take him around Colorado's National Park on around a two week trip. The first day we're staying near Denver, one, so that we can prepare being out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll do a lot of grocery shopping, meal planning and so on. And to give at least one day of some sort of acclimatization for Yanis for the high elevation because he mostly lived at the sea level as I did before. I but feel fine, we can move on. <laughs> uh, so today we're doing a small hike on Tabletop Mountain near Denver and we'll do a bunch of errands in the afternoon and tomorrow we'll head out on to Rocky Mountain National Park. This seems poisonous. After climbing for 600 feet, we have reached the top of the plateau. Now it's gonna be easy going, just straight flat, and then it will be downhill. We are back at the trailhead, and it took us about two hours. It was 4.8 miles with almost 700 feet elevation gain. It is day three of Yanis being in Colorado and today we're heading out to Rocky Mountain National Park. We started uh, pretty early at seven o'clock. We uh, went for a short bike ride nearby. Okay, Yanis, that might be our turnaround point. <laughs> oh, you can hop it, right? Because <laughs> I'm stopped here. And uh, now we'll do a two hour trek to Rocky Mountain National Park. Just arrived at Rocky Mountain National Park. We stopped by Beaver Meadows Visitor Center. We'll get our uh, passport uh, stamped and we'll watch the park movie. And uh, after that, we'll head to the campground. So we are around here and then we'll go to Glacier Basin Campground and we'll hike Beer Lake up to the Flat Top Mountain. We'll do another hike in this area. Rocky Mountain National Park was established on January 26th, 1915 by President Woodrow Wilson signing the Rocky Mountain National Park Act. Today, Rocky Mountain National Park is the third most visited national park in the country. In 2018, it attracted over 4.5 million visitors, lured by the magical landscapes and brought in with its convenient access to nearby cities and transport infrastructure. We are now at the Glacier Basin Campground. The ride in wasn't too bad, there's a little bit of traffic, but we managed to get in the fast lane because we already have the annual pass and there's automatic gate where you just swipe your uh, annual pass. We'll spend three days in Rocky Mountain National Park. Tomorrow will be scenic drive day where we'll drive on the Fall River Road. It's the off-road road. We'll see some waterfalls along the way and we'll do short hikes and we'll return back over the main road that goes all the way across the Rocky Mountains and the Continental Divide. And then the day after we'll do a big hike in the Bear Lake area and then after that, the third day, we'll do another hike um, to the Chasm Lake. So that will be three full days here, and I'm super excited. Rocky Mountain Range is a mountain range that crosses all United States from Alaska to southern border. And Rocky Mountain National Park was established in 1915 to protect one portion of this mountain range. 
we have set up and had lunch and now we'll go to the main information board and check out what hikes we can do around this campground. wants to go for a swim. So spray leg is not good enough for you? No, there's nobody swimming here. <laughs> Even small kids are not swimming. Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> but it's really refreshing. But you see how it is? Yeah. It's dirty. Well, I'm impressed. That is Flat Top Mountain and this is uh, Hallett Peak and we'll try to get there on the uh, day after tomorrow. We just did a short little hike to Sprague Lake. It was 2.2 miles and it took us about an hour and a quarter to go to Sprague Lake, go around and come back the same way. Today is our first full day exploring Rocky Mountain National Park. And to start us off, we're going to be doing the scenic drive along the Old Fall River Road. This is a beautiful drive in itself, but along the way, there's lots of stopping points. The first one is where we are right now, at the Alluvial Fan. We're going to take a hike up here and see the waterfall at the end. This Alluvial Fan area was created in 1982 when an upstream dam broke down and 29 million of gallons of water rushed down and on its way to broken down trees and the rocks and kind of flooded them in this area. Okay, Janusz, what do you think about the Rocky Mountain National Park so far? Actually, I'm quite amazed about uh, this national park. We have a lot of great mountains in Europe, and this is definitely at the same level, level or even even uh, greater. But we will see. We have still three days here, and uh, I have great expectations for this park. The Fall River Road starts at 8,500 feet elevation and now about halfway through we are at 10,000 feet elevation which is two miles above sea level. These rock slides behind me, those are avalanche scars. The 
The next stop on the road for us is the Chapping Creek Trailhead. This is a few miles as a, a little hike, uh, although it's mainly in and out, uh, apparently there is a way to do it as a round trip. So we're going to go and explore. Ugh. Careful, we did this yesterday. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You're a better thrower than me. <laughs> Until first hit, you know. Hey, don't, no, no, camera. <laughs> Snow's really cold. So is that entertainment for the day? Yeah, done now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the beginning. <laughs> it may only be like 30 square feet of snow. But we can still have fun with that. We're hiking up the Chapin Creek Trail. The trail takes us all the way to Ypsilon, but we're actually going to cut it short here. Behind us, there's a storm moving in, and in addition to rain and equipment and things that we've, we've got with us, which we don't want to get wet, there's also a big risk of lightning, and we are now getting to the tree line. So the best advice here is to not go above the tree line, stay nice and low, make sure there's higher things around you. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head back down to the car from here. Even so, since we've been hiking, we've got in, let's see, about two thirds of a mile, so it'll be about a mile and a half, somewhere around there, um, by the time we're back down. So uh, it's only a short hike that we've done here, but it's better safe than sorry, so let's head back down. We've made it to the top of the old Fall River Road. This is our lunch spot. We've just had some lunch here. We are now at the Alpine Visitor Center and it is 11,796 feet above sea level. That makes it the highest visitor center in the US. Also, this road is the highest contiguous paved road anywhere in the US as well, which is pretty impressive. On top of that, if that weren't enough, this is also the highest road in any national park in the US. So loads of records are being set here and it's a great spot with this view behind me that we've had some lunch here. It looks like there's a short hike here up to the top of the ridge so we're gonna have a wander up there and see if we can get some great photos. Then after that we're gonna continue our scenic drive. We're gonna be heading down to the lake uh, along the way. That's about 45 minutes from here and we're hoping to make it there before the thunderstorms kick in and who knows maybe Janus will go for another swim in the lake. I think the most stunning part about Rocky Mountains is that uh, they're endless. You can look down to the right or up to the left and mountains will never stop. It's amazing. Predictably, in Colorado mountains, we got afternoon thunderstorm. It is about one o'clock, and we luckily finished our hike just before it started and got in the car. And now we're continuing on the Trail Ridge Road towards the Grand Lake. Oh, it's fine. Ah! Now it will be fine. Hi. So we found you a Grand Lake Marina where you could possibly get in the water. What do you think? Are you gonna get in the water? I will definitely get in the water. It looks nice. Today we were in the visitor center and the guy was pretty pretty amazed that I asked him where can I find the proper beach here to swim. But for me it seems fine. The water temperature I don't know but I, I think I will cope with this. So see you in a minute. 
really fun. Usual temperature at the seaside in Latvia. Is that it? It's fairly cold. Hard to breathe. But it's really refreshing. It's hard to breathe probably also because of altitude. Maybe. It's no fun swimming in the Alpine lake. I'm impressed you still got in. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel the needles in my skin. Wow. Whew. How was it? great refreshing you can definitely get used to the alpine lakes so do you approve this lake i approve this lake for swimming <laughs> automated pass checker We've stopped here at this little parking area and behind us you can see a load of snow. Just behind this wall on the edge of the snow there are big red signs that say avalanche area keep off. People are still ignoring that and we've just watched a guy go down there trying to snowboard down there. To us that's just a really reckless thing to do. Not only is it dangerous, it could damage the environment and the signs are there for a reason. Just keep off. We drove the Trail Ridge Road back to the Glacier Basin campground. After a busy day of exploring we were exhausted and we had big plans for the next day. So we relaxed back at camp and enjoyed watching the sunset over the snow-capped mountains. In the next video, we'll tackle hiking to the top of Hallett Peak, which stands at 12,713 feet above sea level. Make sure you're subscribed for more National Park videos. What is this? Mesa? No. Tabletop? What type of hill is this? What is this called? I have no idea. Plateau, plateau, that's the word, okay.